Hey YouTube, uh, today's short video is going to be on uh, how to set up an office chair. Um, I know it seems kind of simple, but hey, maybe somebody out there could use the help. I haven't put this particular model together, but I'm sure it can't be too tough. Anyways, it's a, uh, the company is called Real Space. It's a, the Radley Task Chair. Um, it has a mesh back, and the reason we're swapping it out, my wife's chair shot. It's uh, falling apart. It's basically falling apart. And I don't know if you know if you have these chairs that aren't real leather, the ones that cost hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. You get these other ones that are called pleather. They, they end up being garbage. They just fall apart. It's, it's disintegrating. So uh, we got our new chair. We're going to slap it together. Uh, it supports uh, up to 275 pounds. Uh, that should be no problem. And uh, here's this is almost as important as the whole video. This particular model, if you go to Office Depot, it cost $229. We were sitting in it, it felt great. It was in black. And we were just about, you know, we we're consider buying it, looking at other models. But we saw the same exact chair that was $229, same manufacturer, same everything. It was in blue. And evidently, nobody likes blue. They were selling it for $89 that big of a difference you know colors matter to me like if I was gonna buy a laptop or something like if it was twenty dollars fifteen dollars maybe twenty five dollars difference you know what if it had a different color the same thing I, I may pay that but for a hundred and forty dollar difference on a chair I'm going with the blue and to make it a bonus the blue it's panther blue and we're in the Charlotte area so um, as far as I'm concerned it's panther color so Let's, uh, let's get to putting this bad boy together. Okay, got my handy dandy uh, knife here. Uh, it cuts like butter. It's not actually a butter knife, it's a steak knife, but who cares? All right, unpackage this thing. We got our, uh, looks like we got, these are gonna be the screws. They give us the tools in this one. Of course, they give you that beautiful Allen wrench. You have a ton of those. If you put these together, you got a whole drawer through. But uh, that's all going to be, it looks like they're giving us all we need right there. So uh, we'll pull this guy out. Looks like an, both of the arms chairs on the side. And uh, bottom cushion. Base. The base right there. Okay, there's the base. Our beautiful wheels. This is the main part that makes the chair go up and down. That'll be on with the screws, I'm sure. And let me see what we got here. A lovely mesh back. So I'll take all this stuff and get all the fabric off it so you don't need to sit there. Oh yeah, and this right here. And this box is gonna be a piston, I'm sure. I haven't opened it up yet, but we'll check it out. Okay, what I like to do is get the instructions out of the box and make sure all the parts are there. It very rarely happens, but once in a while you're missing a part. So uh, from A to the black, uh, the back cushion, all the way down to the bottom, I check all this to make sure each of them are in the box and I, as I unpack them, and they all are. Everything's Next, accounted. To make it real easy, they give you a little chart, a size comparison chart. And just in case you don't know what bolt goes where, you can put it up next to them. And then that's, you can see it from all the way from uh, uh, there's three different sizes. I don't need to go any more than that into detail. Okay, the first step looks like we're gonna build the base. Uh, we're gonna pop the little wheels over here into the, uh, the base, and then we're gonna build that by putting that piston and the cover on top of it. So uh, let's get that done. Okay, we gotta get the base here. Here's the lovely base. They said just flip it over, and uh, we're gonna take these guys. The cool thing about this, it's all compression fit. It's all going to be up, push down on it. It's a, a like I said, it makes it real easy. It's just a little compression fit. I don't have, I don't need any tools. This is going to be a dream. I wish some of the toys on Christmas morning were this easy to put together. But uh, that's foam, and we're done there. How hard was that? We're moving right along. The next is that piston I was talking about. Again, a compression fit. No tools required. Stick that in there and that's it. Boom. Next, 
this little inverted cone. Um, beautiful, cute little inverted cone. It kind of hides this a little bit. So this guy goes on here, and there it is. It's just like that. We're off. Couldn't be easier. The base of the chair, that's the seat. They want us to put the armchairs on. Um, there's two of them. And there's three, there's three spots right there for three uh, screws, uh, nuts to go in. Boom, you put that on, we're gonna put all three on. But I wanna make sure that uh, you don't get turned around. Make sure you got it oriented in the right way so these uh, go on. It doesn't designate it which side goes on which, but you can tell this is the back of the chair. This is gonna be the proper way the armrest goes on. So just, just, just double check that because it's not foolproof. And again, they're gonna give us our beautiful uh, hardware here. They gave us it all here. They say these are the K6. I got them right here. Three guys right there. One, two, three. So I like to get them started with my hand, if I can, which I hopefully can. Let me see if I, I'm in the right spot. There, it goes down. That's beautiful. Okay. All three of them. Again, when I tighten everything, I like to get it tight, but I don't want to Hulk Hogan it because you can just rip these things out. It's that's pretty good. Depending on how strong you are, you don't don't overdo it. Just make sure it's secure and tight. Like that's pretty damn good. All right. So I'm going to have a little bit of slack in there to make sure all three of these are going in properly. That one did not feel like it was going in the proper way. So never want to force it because you can cross thread these things. And of course it's that screw that wanted to jump out. Okay, that's going in now. It's kind of crazy. That's a crazy angle for that one. As you can see, that is kind of, it's, I got it in the right spot. So that from the factory was a little off center, but I was able to make it work by keeping everything loose before you tighten it down. That's why I said, get them all going, started before you go crazy. Flip it over, and there we are. Moving right along, the next part is to put this gizmo on here. This is a pretty heavy piece of metal, and they want you to put it on right here. And how do you make sure it's oriented right? This part goes towards the front. If it's upside down or flip that, it says front right there. So this is the way it goes on. It lines up like a dream. You can see the screws, or the, they go right there. The bolts are gonna go right down in there. Um, uses the same Allen wrench, which I love, to get it started. That thing's it's going right in there, that beautiful machine thread. I can feel it going down. Okay, moving on. We've got this on now the two pieces on the side. Next, they want us to put the lovely mesh back on. So I'll grab it over here. This guy right here, the mesh back. And since we're still flipped over, this is gonna go right here. If you can see that, right on there like that. Hand tighten it. One. Okay, as usual, I found that last runaway uh, bolt, was able to get it on there, and I'm just giving it the extra quality assurance test on all four, not to over tighten them, but put a little, little bit of mustard on them to make sure they're tight, especially these guys. This, this is holding up the back of the chair. So, they, you want them all the way in. That should be it. Beautiful, look what we got now. This back, you flip it over. She's looking pretty good. We're almost done. Okay, we're down to the uh, very end of this operation, which again, I, I told you, how hard could it be? So we're supposed to pick this thing up and put it right on there. So uh, there's the bottom of that. It doesn't look like it's too hard. They said to line it up. I'm gonna try to get it on there. I think it is, and push firmly. Matter of fact, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna transfer into this chair. Oh my goodness, does this feel good. Woo! Okay, I think this is the, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, this chair, I'm telling you. There it is, let me get out of it. There she is, completely put together, very simple operation, 89 bucks, Office Depot, if you like it in black, $229. So, uh, and that mesh, that's the key. I mean, it's way better to me than that uh, pleather. So I hope that helped out. Uh, we'll see you down the road.